Hey there, Jay on again. Another video of the uh, brass lightsaber that I just finished. Uh, this one is uh, Brass Saber 16. This was made using uh, brass plumbing extension that I picked up from a, uh, an online plumbing supplier. So I did the uh, sanded grips. In the rear section we have an MHS uh, V-Groove ribbed extension. And then blade holder style 8. Over here on the side, we have the machine cover tech button so you can hang it on your belt. It's got a recharge port. Set screw for the blade retention tension bolt because I don't like using thumb screws on those style of blade holders. They just, uh, they just look out of place. And we have an uh, ultra edge that I put together myself for the blade. See right here, we have a green activation LED. Comes on when you start to saber. For the LED, this one has a uh, amber Luxion 3. This is a Ben 4. So it's kind of a uh, looking more gold and yellow in the video here, but in person it's more of a uh, kind of a creamsicle orange actually. Got an Anakin Skywalker uh, Master Replicas FX soundboard up. So all your typical Jedi sounds. Batteries are back here, accessed by just unscrewing this nut and pulling out the speaker resonator. It's attached to the battery holder. Uh, it's got standard alkalines in it right now, but uh, you can always pull those out and replace them with a set of nickel metal hydrides and then using an uh, adapter wire you plug that in there and uh, use a uh, hobby charger and you charge the uh, batteries right in the saber. And the button here is your simple TCSS uh, standard click on click off switch with your uh, machined uh, bezel nut. Overall, this one, uh, this one is pretty nice. I like this one. I wouldn't mind having this one for myself. But uh, I've currently got it up for sale at the FX Savers forums. If it doesn't sell there, then it will go to eBay. The nice thing about this one, too, is the, uh, the brass I used on this is uncoated polished brass, which means it doesn't have a uh, coating on it to make it look polished like some of the other savers I built before. Uh, this is actually raw brass and it will have to be polished in order to maintain that finish. But uh, I think that's, that's better because uh, the other savers, when you would polish them up, some of the earlier ones, uh, the brass coloring would come off and it would become chrome. And then it's kind of hard to call it a brass saber if it turns chrome after you polish it. Uh, it costs a little more, but uh, I think it's worth it. It's turned out pretty nice. Yeah, and that's why I don't like this button. There we go. So there she is. This is Brass Saber 16. Thanks for watching, and uh, to borrow a phrase from uh, Greytail Novastar, uh, have fun with your sabers.